All right, so this morning we'll look at uh, two and three from yesterday that I ask you to try. Um, and then we'll do two more off of this sort of notes page together. And then I'll give you the worksheet, or you can download the worksheet. And the, today's assignment is the first six of those. Um, so looking at number two, x plus one over x plus four. Um, again, you don't have to group them all together, but like my brain, I think it helps to kind of organize what I'm looking for. Instead of seeing seven different things, it's like three classes of things, and then I'll put them all on the graph. So domain, x can't be negative 4. It's not a whole because it didn't reduce with anybody. Vertical asymptotes, because it didn't reduce, is x equals negative 4. So usually those go pretty quick, um, although the holes take a little bit more time because you got to find the y value if there is, if there is a hole. Um, We'll do one of those examples today. Horizontal versus slant is Bobo each DC. We are actually going to add slants today. I was wrong yesterday. So that's one thing we'll add today is the, <coughs> the slant aspect of it. Um, is this a Bobo or an each DC problem? Each DC, the exponents are the same. So when we divide the coefficients, the 1 over 1, there's the coefficients, equals 1. So our horizontal asymptote is y equals 1. We don't have slants yet. Um, we're going to add them today. When you, you either have a horizontal or a slant, never, never both. So one of those is going to say none every time. Y-intercepts set x equal to 0, so 0 comma 1 fourth. Another fraction, but again, not a big deal. We can fight, figure out where 1 fourth is. You don't have to be uh, an expert to know that's a little bit more than 0. X-intercepts are where y is 0. But the only thing that makes a fraction 0 is if the top is 0. So x equals negative 1. The x-intercept is a point, so write it as a point. Don't just say x equals negative 1. There's all the info. Now it's time to put all that stuff on the graph. Uh, domain doesn't go on the graph. There aren't any holes. Vertical asymptote at x equals negative 4. Horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. Y intercept at 0, 1 fourth. And again, I'm not getting out a, a microscope and a ruler to check that you put 1 fourth where I think 1 fourth goes. But it better be between 0 and 1, and it needs to be closer to 0. And then an x intercept at negative 1, 0. I probably feel pretty good about what the graph on the right looks like. And again, you only have to have one point per branch. We've already got two. So if you're comfortable sketching it in, you can do that. Uh, I'm going to plug in x equals negative 3. And I should get something down here just to confirm that this is doing what I think it's doing. Negative 3 plus 1 over negative 3 plus 4 would be negative 2 over 1. So negative 2. Okay, that fits with what the pattern is, what I think is happening. Again, please draw your, you know, use your asymptote correctly. Draw the, the graph getting closer to the asymptote. Um, do not draw. If this is your asymptote, don't do that. That's not asymptotic behavior, to use the fancy word. It needs to get closer and closer to the asymptote. I will take off if you do that. You just get lazy and quick and mess it up like that. So take the time to draw it correctly. Uh, I do need something on the other side. 
So let's see, negative 4 would be a bad choice because that wouldn't even work. Let's try negative 5. So negative 5 plus 1 over negative 5 plus 4 would be negative 4 over negative 1. So negative 5 and then 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, we haven't done a ton of these, but with the asymptotes there, I feel pretty good about what this graph is going to look like. Again, if you want more points, if you want to do negative 6 and negative 7 and negative 8 and really get a really good picture, you can. But as long as I see one good point, then you're good from there. Questions on that one? All right, let's look at number three. Go a little quicker on this one. So domain x can't be negative five. Not any holes. Vertical asymptote at x equals negative five. Again, those three things always go together. Domain, holes, vertical asymptotes. Horizontal versus slant. We don't know about slants yet. Is this a Bobo or an ETDC problem? Yeah, Bobo. We like Bobo problems. Bigger on bottom means Y equals zero. There's really not any math to do. I mean, the math is thinking about Bobo and ETDC. Y-intercepts is set x equal to 0. So 0, comma, negative 2 fifths. Again, another fraction, but again, you, you know where negative 2 fifths is. X-intercepts would be set y equal to 0. But the only thing that makes a fraction 0 is if the top is 0. And that top's not going to be zero, so no uh, x-intercepts for this problem. Vertical asymptote, negative five. Horizontal asymptote at y equals zero. Got a point at zero, negative two fifths. And that's all I got, so that's not much. I think I can do the right hand branch. Like I'm pretty sure I know what it's going to do. We've done enough of these now to know what each branch looks like. Um, although, I'm, I don't have to do a point on that branch, but I'm going to do one more point see exactly where it lands over here at x equals negative 4. So at negative 4, my y value is negative 2. Now I, now I definitely know what's going on on the right hand side. But I got nothing on the left, so I definitely need a point over here. So let's do negative 6. Negative 2 over negative 6 plus 5. That would be negative 2 over negative 1. So 2. And again, only one point is required. If you want to graph more because you want to make sure you know what's going on, then go for it. but I feel confident with one point knowing what that graph looks like.